Hey guys, my name is Francesco from Soundbreaking Productions. Today I'm here to talk to you about multi-tracking in your home recording studio. Before I start, I want you to turn down to the description and you can click my website and follow it on Facebook, like it on Facebook, and every other social media site that I have. Uh, this will allow you not to miss any blog posts, any valuable information about recording, or any recording tips that I usually post on Facebook or my blog. Uh, my blogs are also linked on Facebook, so every time I post a blog, you won't miss a single thing if you're like if you like me on Facebook. So, getting to multi-tracking recording, I when I first started recording, I had a really really hard time trying to multi-track because I was missing one simple step. That simple step was the most important part, and I couldn't get multi-tracking down for a few months, and I was really frustrated at it. And it was a simple error, and I knew it was going to be something really, really stupid, but it just stopped me from doing it. So today, um, I want to prevent you guys from having that error. And um, what you have to do, the first thing you need is an audio interface with more than one input. Okay, because we want to multi-track, we need one, more than one instrument to be connected into the audio interface. So after you have your audio interface and everything like that, everything set up, uh, with your computer. You can then start pl uh, plugging in instruments into your audio interface with a quarter inch cable or a XLR cable depending on what you're using. If you're using a microphone you'd probably use an XLR cable and if you're using an instrument, a guitar or a keyboard, you probably plug in with a quarter inch cable. Next, after you have everything plugged in, after you have your computer running with your audio interface plugged in, via USB or Firewire, I you would then lo uh, load up your DAW and the stupid error that I made, the very, very frustrating error that I made was that I didn't assign an input to all of my tracks. So basically what was happening is all my tracks were set on input one instead of input one, input two, input three, and input four, my audio interface has four inputs. So instead of assigning my tracks with input one, two, three, four, they were all assigned on one. And when I would press record, they would all record on the same input. And that was really frustrating. I didn't know how, what, what to do, honestly. And I looked online, there were no uh, tutorials available for this and I, for a couple of months I was really didn't even know what to do after I figured it out I was so frustrated at myself but uh, now I want you guys to you know take this advice and take this uh, tutorial on how to multi multi-track uh, it's a really important step if you don't do it then it's gonna mess up your entire uh, multi-tracking experience uh, so remember when you plug in you have to set every track to an input. You can do that, I know in Logic Pro X, that's what I use, you can set an input through on the bottom left menu, there's, you, you'll see input one, okay? After, if you click that, if you click input one, a list of, bun of inputs will appear on your menu screen. You assign every track to an input. In my case, like I said, I had four inputs. I would assign track one to input one, track two to input two, track three, input three, track four, input four. Once that's done, you, you load up everything to record, press the R on every track, and you also, if you wanna hear it through the speakers, you would press the monitor button, which is the orange I icon next to the R on every track. After you press that, you just press R on your keyboard and you begin recording. All four tracks will simultaneously record. You can record a full band, you can record keyboards, you can record anything that any instrument you want you can record. Uh, like I said, you can record the different pieces of the drums, a snare, two toms, a floor tom, a bass, bass drum. You can record all of those pieces separately. You can have two overheads, you can have a snare and a hi-hat uh, mic, 
using the mics, I'm using drum mics, you can record the entire set. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, stay tuned for more videos that I'm going to release, some more recording tips. And please like my Facebook page on the bottom. And you won't miss a single blog. You won't, you won't miss any recording tips. Thank you again. Have a great day.